Hi, I'm going to demo for you how you can include a reference image in ZBrush. First thing you want to start with is texture. And as you can see here, I don't have any loaded texture, so I need to go and click on import. So I import the image that I want to use. Then I'm going to click on texture again to show you the image that I want to use. Then I'm going to go into the tool here and I want to create a plane 3D. Then with left mouse button, I'm going to create it. And then with shift, I'm going to snap it. Then I'm going to click on edit. Then after that, I'm going to go to texture map. Then click here. And now I'm going to click on the image that I loaded up originally. So if it looks like this, you click on rotate. Then with left mouse button, you move it. And then by holding shift, it snaps to 15 degrees. And now that it's done, as you can see, it looks kind of reddish when it's not supposed to be like that based on the original image and that's because it has a clay material so I'm gonna go and change this to white and there it is now if you want to create different geometry to work on you go into the sub tool and click on append next I'm going to go and click on plane 3d then I'm going to click on transparency here this is going to allow you to see through and then let's say I want to have this to orient according to what I want it to be here for this geometry and then I'm going to go and click on move and I can of course scale it up now this way or both ways and once you're done with the transparency or if you want to toggle the transparency off you can always go and unselect this